Welcome to Coffee Commerce. My name is Sean Remett and I'm the grandson of a coffee farmer from Guyana, South America. On Coffee Commerce, we've been talking about coffee and revolution and how coffee was banned in many countries and coffee houses as well. We've talked about Europe, but let's move to Germany. The German Frederick the Great was so against coffee that he attempted to outlaw the drink outright on September 13, 1777. Frederick was afraid that the importation of coffee was costing his kingdom and himself personally business in the alehouses. He required all coffee sellers to register with the crown. But when the coffee sellers tried to comply with their registration, their registration were denied. The licenses instead went to a few friends of the court. Frederick also employed former soldiers to work as spies roaming the streets to detect any contraband coffee roasters. His disdain for coffee was recorded in 1799 in the following letter, stating, it is despicable to see how extensive the consumption of coffee is. If this is limited a bit, people will have to get used to ale again. His Royal Majesty was raised on such things, including in soup. So these people can also be brought up similarly. This is much healthier than coffee. But the ban was lifted after Frederick the Great's death and debates carried on, not just about health, but also about politics, ideas, and philosophy. We should talk about France next and how the Paris cafes had a big influence on the French revolutions of the day. But that's another story for another cup of coffee. Thank you.